Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. US equities finished mixed in fairly quiet Monday trading, with stocks struggling to hold their ground on Monday following the S&P 500's third straight weekly gain as demand concerns for the semiconductor industry weighed on tech names. A new reading for the Consumer Price Index, slated for release on Wednesday, will give investors more clarification about the central bank's next move at its policy meeting in September. The S&P 500 overnight slipped 0.12%, the Nasdaq ticked down 0.1% and the Dow Jones Industrial Average held on to a small gain. In US stock news, Nvidia announced weaker than expected revenue for its second quarter, putting pressure on semiconductor stocks. Shares of the chip giant fell more than 6% and rival stocks like AMD and Broadcom were also under pressure. Bed Bath & Beyond had its biggest volume day on record, with consumer goods stock trading more than 120 million shares in the day, where the stock was up nearly 40% on the day, posting a nine-day winning streak. Across the sectors, sectors were mixed, with best performing industries being gold, hydrogen, cannabis and lithium stocks. Some clean energy related shares gained after the Senate passed the Inflation Reduction Act. The measure includes billions of dollars aimed at addressing climate change. More crucially, the bill includes requirements for domestic manufacturing of EVs and their battery components to qualify for the extended credit. As written, the law requires that 40% of battery components to be sourced from factories in the US or its free trade agreement partners, that batteries be US made by 2029 and that Chinese components and minerals be phased out in the beginning of 2024. Momentum now seems to be back with the lithium sector, with the catalyst being a very bullish quarterly report issued by US-listed lithium producer Albemine last week, which contained a stunning upgrade to its outlook for the year. The forecast from Albemarle, which counts Tesla and other major car makers as customers, comes after a more than eight-fold surge in the price of lithium compounds since the start of the pandemic in 2020. The global price may have now steadied around a record 70,000 US dollar level as demand continues to grow, which has boosted Abermile's earnings and seen it lift guidance three times this year. Abermile CEO Kent Masters has said that car makers will find it hard to get all the battery metals, especially lithium, for the next eight years. Judging by the performance of some of the leading lithium stocks on the ASX on Monday, local investors were slow to catch up on the contents of the Abermile quarterly. Shares in Lake Resources jumped more than 15% yesterday. Pilbara Minerals shares closed 3.5% higher. IGO shares rose 2.6% and Lone Town Resources added 7%. Abermile now expects the price at which it sells its lithium to jump at least 225% in 2022, an adjusted profit in its lithium division to rise at least 500%. Adjusted EBITDA for 2022 is now forecast to be three times the 2021 figure in a range of 3.2 to 3.5 US billion dollars. Adjusted profit in the company's lithium division is expected to more than quadruple. Master said the market will remain tight despite efforts to produce more of the metal. It's systemic for a, peri a pretty long period of time, Master said, of the challenge facing the industry. For seven to eight years, it's expected to remain pretty tight. On the currency front, one Australian dollar has strengthened compared to the US dollar yesterday, buying 69.79 US cents. On the commodity front, iron ore futures are pointing to a 1.5% gain. Gold has gained 0.8%, silver is up 4.1% and copper is up almost 1%. Oil has added 1.9% to $90.76 a US a barrel. Bitcoin futures were up 4.3%. The SPY futures are pointing to 114 today. Uh, results expected today include Computer Share, Megaport, National Australia Bank, News Corp and REA Group. This is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Have a good day.